What's up everybody, it's your boy Chad Viper and we have a special video for you today. With the release of Street Fighter V, we were pretty hyped over at PV Recreation. So I'm making this video as a tutorial guide for anyone who will be using Karen when the game releases. Um, the beta has been out for quite some time now um, and we've really seen what the game is all about. You know, the new mechanics, V-Trigger and how the game's gonna play. Um, we've had a lot of hands-on time with Karen and we've seen her in the hands of some of the pros So I can basically conclude that the way that she works now is the way that she's gonna work when the game comes out in about two weeks um, So with that being said, I've created um, a small guide To talk to you about how I think you should play Karen and how I think she's gonna work in the final release of the game So that when the game comes out you can hit the game running Okay, so Karen is a footsie oriented character who's all about controlling space and pushing her buttons at the right time. So I've made a small pros and cons list on Karen and let's go over what's in them. For pros, she has some great normals. Like I said before, her buttons do have a lot of hits done, they have a lot of active frames and they start up relatively quickly. So this is how she's a footsy oriented character. She does some good damage. As long as you're opening your opponent up and getting the combos in that you need to get in, you're going to basically kill your opponent fairly quickly. Um, her damage is on par with any other character in the game, and she kind of hits pretty hard, especially in the corner with her extended combos. She has a really, really good walk speed, and in past Street Fighter, a character's walk speed kind of determined how they're supposed to be played. Um, characters with fast walk speeds are normally rush down type characters like in Street Fighter V, um, Evil Ryu, Sea Viper, very fast walk speeds and their primary objective is to rush down. Um, so Karen does have a very very fast walk speed in the game so I'm going to conclude that she's meant to kind of rush down using her footsies. Uh, we haven't really found out exactly how this works because the official game isn't out yet but we've seen uh, high level players like Kazunoko and Smug really really apply some pressure with Karen um, using her walk speed and her footsie game. Um, like I said, she can apply some great pressure, especially using her crouching medium punch and her standing medium punch and also her sweep. Um, they can leave your opponent devastated with not many options if you pushing your buttons at the right time. Um, with that being said, let's look at the cons about Karen because the cons are the cons. Or the cons. So she has very, very low health. So if you're not doing your job and you're getting hit, prepared to die relatively quickly. Um, she does have low stun and health, so you need to watch out for that when playing Karen because you're gonna see your health bar drop dramatically if you're getting hit with full combo, especially in Street Fighter V. Games end so quick because everything hurts in this game, especially super combos don't really scale now, so a lot of damage can be done relatively quickly. Um, she has very, very low mix-up potential. Um, she does have a few setups um, where you do a reset and you dash under, but they're not really that good, and Laura has these kind of things too, and Street Fighter V isn't really a mix-up oriented game like 4 was, um, so expect to draw out the footsie game and abuse your normals to get the win. Um, I've noticed it can be relatively hard to get in with Karen, especially if your opponent has some zoning tools like fireballs or maybe Vegas pokes. Um, she really shines in this medium kick range, like this mid-range distance from your opponent. And if you can keep yourself in that range, you're gonna do great with Karen. Full screen, she doesn't really have any options. Um, and if you're too close to your, button, to your opponent, they can out-button you. Um, she does have some options to go over and under fireballs, um, but the options aren't that the best in the world. Um, some of them do lead to some punishes, but your timing has to be pretty good, it seems like, and you really have to predict that your opponent's about to throw a fireball. Um, so let's get into how to play Karen. Like I said, Karen is a footsie-oriented character, and you need to keep her within crouching medium kick of your opponent, this mid-range distance. Full screen, she doesn't work out so well, and too close, your opponent can out-button you. Um, in this range, she has very, very effective pokes using her crouching medium punch and standing medium punch. They have great block stun, and I think those are gonna be mostly used for her counter hit setups. Like, they're just great buttons. The hitbox is great. Um, she also has a great sweep, which is also in that you know medium distance range. Um, it comes out quick. 
and it can be made safe, I believe, if you do it at max range. Um, her sweep can punish anything. If your opponent just slightly wiggles or walks back or walks forward, medium, sweep is the way to go. Her sweep is so freaking good in the game, it's godlike. Um, I do want to talk about a little about her V-Trigger um, because I'm not really sure if I like it or not. Um, when you're in V-Trigger mode, um, you have access to her Rekkas and the, the cross of Rekka. Um, I guess her V-Trigger is fine, but we've seen Rekkas in games before. Um, I'm not really too happy with it. I, I guess it's, it's an okay V-Trigger, um, but I, they gave it to her, so you're gonna have to use it. Um, she does have some anti-air options. Um, she does have a wake up EXDP type motion. Um, if your opponent's jumping in, it's a great option to shut them down. It does some good damage. Um, she does have some normals as anti-airs. Um, I've seen people use her standing fierce punch as anti-air, and that's where you can lead into one of her uh, mix-ups, potential mix-ups. You do your standing fierce punch to anti-air, and then you do a dash under and to the other side, um, but that's really it. Um, I've seen one of her other special moves uses anti-air. Um, her, I guess, chin uppercut move, I'm not really sure what it's called. Um, I've seen that be used as an anti-air as well. Um, so she does have some anti-air moves, so try to use those in the best situations. Um, if you're getting safe, safe jumped on, I think it's just best to block. You don't really want to mash out her DP. Um, I don't, it doesn't look like it has that much priority. It's only good as uh, anti-air if you're both in the footsie game. Um, so if they're jumping in, cross up or not, you probably just want to block. Um, that's the best option. You shouldn't be hit, getting hit with too many crazy mix-ups in the game anyway just because it's Street Fighter V. So your best option is just to block. Um, let's talk a little about her super. Um, her super can be basically canceled from anything from her records and to her um, double kicks. It can be canceled into. Her super is really really good and it's gonna give you some really good damage um, if you have the meter. Um, Speaking of meter, she also does have a EX dash under move, which can be used to go under fireballs um, and things of that nature. So I can conclude that Karen is going to be a fairly strong character in the game as long as you can keep her in that crouching medium kick distance. She's really, really going to shine, um, especially if you can get your opponent in the corner and you can stay in that distance. Um, she does really have some really great extended corner combos. So if you can get your opponent in the corner and kind of lock them down using her normals, um, like crouching medium punch, standing medium punch, her sweep, and even her standing medium kick is fairly, fairly good to get that toe poke in there, you're going to be really, really good with her. Um, she seems like a very, very strong character, and I'd like to see what new technology people figure out with her. Um, with that being said, this is my small Karen guide on how to play her. I hope you've enjoyed it. Chat Viper out.